Happy Thursday evening to you folks. Hope you're ready for some NBA action here on 2K Sports. With Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. Ali LaForce is our reporter. It's the Chicago Bulls taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. So let's take a look at the Chicago Bulls starting lineup. And this is where the nickname comes from, Mr. Outside. Wes can kill you from distance. Pass to Jordan. The three. And he buries his first look. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth. See, my, my, my regular man don't even, don't even um, move like none of these dudes. Rose outside. Pass to Rodman. There's the screen. Here's Gilmore. Shot clock at five. From outside the arc. Rebounded by the Lakers. And just over a minute played here to start the game. West misses. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. To the middle. Takes that one up and powers it through. Oh boy. Looks like he was. Get out of here, Shaq. <laughs> That's so tough. I mean, guys, I feel bad for him and the whole team. I hope it's not as bad as it looks. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, this is why you build out your depth as best you can. I mean, you just never know when injuries might show up. The Lakers making a switch here. Outside Johnson. Bryant outside. And there's a pick. Down low. Chamberlain gets the bucket. Giving up the ball in the two-man game right there. I think Kobe deserves a little more credit for his playmaking ability. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. He made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Here's Rose. Pass to Rodman. Here's Pippen. And he was camped in the lane. No, there. I'm right there. Like, shoot the fuck up. I, 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 yo, I did not get that. Like, shoot. I was right there. Like, what the? Like, what was that? Bryant outside. And there's the screen. On the take. Uses the glass on the layup. You know, when it's Kobe running that pick and roll, I think you've got to blitz him. Get the ball out of his hands. Otherwise, you're in trouble. First quarter of ball. Almost two and a half minutes in. Rose outside. Pass to Jordan. Here's Pippen. The shot from the low post is good. Well, I tell you, Pippen's length helps him close to the rim. Uses that length to score through contact. Now Los Angeles with it. Outside Johnson. He's going for the oop here. Here's Pippen. Pass to Rose. Jacks up a three. Rebounded by West. The Lakers with the ball. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Now Bryant for three. He can't get it to go. Now here's Jordan. Guarding. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, oh. Watch out below. Big finish. Pretty artful dribbling display by Jordan there. And it completely baffled the defender. You know that guy's to get a replay on here. You know that. Oh, man.
man. Hold on, man. Let me, let me move back. No, back. Let me move back. What? You know I gotta replay that. I gotta learn this. What's gonna call it, dog? Hold on. Coming down. He's coming down. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. Here's Johnson. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Here's Chamberlain. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Oh, he'll wear you down with the way he grinds it out on the offensive glass. Rose against Johnson. Rose right side. Driving in. The massive wingspan of Abdul Jabbar, impressive. Kareem easily swatting away shots. And then Man, what the hell? Boy, terrific timing on that connection right there. Well done both ways. A minute 39 left now in the first quarter. Pass to Pippen. Deflects the pass. And it's out of bounds. Still Chicago's ball. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. There's a minute 34 left to play in the first quarter. Now here's Jordan. And here's Butler. Let's the three fly. Knocks down the long chain. Really crafty play that time by Jordan. Good decision. The defense was locked in on him, so he gave it away. Jordan against Johnson. Pulls up. And it's Baylor missing. Chicago leading. From deep three-point range. Oh, I did not want to do that. Pass to Butler. 4-3. Perfect night so far. Two for two. He's always ready to stroke it now. Butler is a sniper. And nice job off the catch and shoot. James up top. Covered by Jordan. 40 seconds left to play in the first. And the basket by West. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. Here's Rodman. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Butler on the wing. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. That's why they call him Jimmy Buckets, because he'll make the tough shots. The Lakers trail. For three, James. Noah grabs the board. Here's Armstrong. From deep, Jordan drills it from deep. Jordan's got eight points. Jordan really confident rising up from deep. When he's in rhythm, he sinks these outside jumpers. And so it's the Chicago Bulls with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. What has them in front right now? By and large, I can play with Jordan all day, shot. man. Straight up. That, that, that's, that's, that's just, we'll right that's just it. I'm down with the 90s, man. I'm down with the 90s, man. I'm down with the millenniums, too. But I don't know everybody. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Yeah, their early focus on outside scoring has paid off. They're finding plenty of points from three-point land. One other thing they've done really well, moving the ball around. They've done a nice job not settling for that initial option and making that extra pass. Shooting for Chicago. Jerry Small. First one falls for him. And that's good as he hits both shots. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. And for Chicago, let's take a look. And he lobs it up. 
And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Bryant. Yeah, communication breakdown. Two guys thinking in opposite directions. The pass winds up in the stands. To the wing, right side. Here's Theus. To the paint. Tries a 10-footer. And the basket by Pippen. Pippen showing you nice agility that time. Working around tough defense. Able to play through that contact. Up top, Davis. Pass to Baylor. Here's Goodrich. Clock at six. Goes up from the top of the key. They get the rebound. Great positioning on the putback. Davis using that athleticism to battle it out on the glass. From in that tight, hard to stop AD. Here's Theus. Looking for his first basket still in this one. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Those are free points you're giving away. You gotta work harder on the glass. Outside Davis. Pass to Worthy. Now here's Bryant. Let's it go from deep. Gets the three to fall. I don't like that defense, man. I mean, yeah, I don't like it. I'm sure he could have taken that shot himself. But he'd rather find a teammate with a better look. Here's Love. Here's Theus. Three-pointer. And again, it's Chicago with a three. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. See, man, I, I need to make my man like this. This is how I want my man to move around like this. I don't know how to do it, man. Chicago grabs the miss. He sent me a link, though. Here's Theus. To the inside. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lane. Here's Baylor. Love grabs the miss. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. Here's Pippen. And the layup is good off the glass. And now a 12-point Chicago lead. From any spot on the floor, including in tight, Pippen can hurt you. Here's Bryant. True on the 14-footer. Nine points in the game. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end, always in attack mode. Inside. And Sloan gets it to go. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Here's Baylor, and here's Bryant outside. He can't hit that one. Covered by Bryant. Pass to Pippen. So he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. I think what you most appreciate about Pippen, at least I do, is his versatility. I mean, he scores it, he rebounds, he passes, and he defends at a really high level. First free throw is good. See, he's shooting the, the, the meter. I don't know how to do, like, to make the meter go slower. Um, I'm going to do it again, though. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do it again. So good. So he hits both free throws. Here's Johnson. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. And it's Chicago with a board. 156 left to play in the half. Now Jordan. Give him eight points now. Drives to the hoop. And the shot goes in. Jordan's got ten. 
Always looking to drive in attack mode constantly. When the D gives him a lane, he tears him up. There's a minute 40 left in the second quarter. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. James can't get it to go. Chicago with the ball. They're on a 17-7 run. Here's Pippen. Pass to Rodman. Five on the clock. The Bulls need to get off a shot from deep. Jordan. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Jordan's gone five of six in field goal attempts tonight. Here's West. The three. Rodman with a rebound. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Pass to Noah. Here he goes. And a strong finish with two hands. You know, with all the other things Pippen does so well, sometimes I think we forget how good a passer he is. 40 seconds left in the second period. And so it's the Lakers with it. The Lakers call timeout. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are. Oh, let me make sure. Options. I got this on semi-pro. That's what I got this on, semi-pro. Oh, shoot. I thought I was on pro, Mills being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Butler's checked in for Chicago. Thirty-five seconds left in the first half of this one. From deep, Johnson. The Lakers with another miss. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. You know, guys, no denying it's been a rough patch here. I think they've got to run whatever is best in their playbook to get a good yeah. shot. Knocks it down from distance. Well, I like the awareness Rose shows there, guys. I mean, good feel that time from Rose to put it up right off the catch. James with the ball. To end the run, counted from distance. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. Bulls out in front, running away with this one. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. After a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Out to the wing. Here's Pippen. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three point play. Shooting for Chicago. Scotty Pippen, one shot. That's all you, boy. Can't thank you. Here are the Lakers with the ball, and it's time for an injury report. Hey guys, the head athletic trainer for Los Angeles let me know. Took Shaq out early. <laughs> Get out of here. Man, as this looks like a collapsed lung. 
Obviously, we're all hoping for the best here. An injury like this removes any hope of a return tonight, and it's serious enough issue to make you miss more than a few games. Back to you. Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Graham. That's true. It's the uncertainty factor with injuries that can be so hard to handle. And, you know, for him, just watching his teammates unable to contribute, that's really a helpless feeling. On the court for Chicago. I'll tell you what, if you let Wilk get the ball there, that's the Come on, they got rolls on, on, on Wilk. That don't look, that don't even look right. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Now here's Rose. Pass to Jordan. Shot clock at six. There's a screen. Shoots over Johnson. Jordan misses. The Lakers really having a tough go here. Johnson inside. Jordan's there. The energy Magic brings to his offensive game is undeniable. His passion and joy in playing, palpable. No way for the defender to keep up with him there. And here's Jordan. 13 points in the game. Pass to Pippen. Back to Jordan. Takes it inside. It's good. Jordan's got 15 points really strong to the bucket there. They're draped all over him, and he still gets it done. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Outside Johnson. Here's West. The three is up. Rebounded by Pippen. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. Oh my goodness! Disrespectful! And that one is hammered home! Tell you what, Rose can get flashy with the best of them. And the Lakers with possession here. Pass to West. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, Jerry West. At the line for two. That free throw misses. The Bulls making a switch here. Levine's checked in. And he's good on the second. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Oh, and the jam by Levine. And you see why Levine's been a hard, tough out in the slam dunk contest, has a natural ability to entertain the audience, and that bounce and athleticism certainly doesn't hurt either. And so it's the Lakers with it. The Bulls making their last shot. Here's Wilkes. Here's Bryant. Rodman with a rebound. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Pass to Levine from behind the arc. Rebound, the Lakers. Here's West. Seven points in the game. Stripped away. Here's Pippen. Third quarter action and just under three. And a half oh man, back. that was too early. Most nights this shot would have been his, but the defender gave him just enough trouble. There's the drive and blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Bryant, no good. Bryant's gone just one of five from deep here. Out left to the wing. Here's Gilmore, covered by Bryant. And it's good. Two points. He has six. He's playing with such brute force on the inside. Gilmore with the size and some pretty good moves, too. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Substitution on the court. Now 
Now James. Pass to Baylor. James inside. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Boy, this is how effective LeBron is in close. Just takes his time, never in a rush, and exploits holes in the defense. Outside Butler. Into the lane. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Butler's got 10 points in the game. Not much resistance from the defense. Easy play that time for him. A minute 35 left in the third quarter. Here's Wilkes. He's covered by Levine. Goodrich. No good on the triple. And Chicago has possession. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 25. Armstrong with a bucket. Proving just how lethal he can be on the drive. Armstrong getting into the lane and taking it strong. Here's Goodrich. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And he can't get that one. Now Chicago takes it the other way. 52 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Butler. This one for three. Gets the three ball to go. Yeah, pretty dependable from the corner three spot. Butler only fires those threes he feels comfortable taking. Here's Wilkes. James with the ball. Five points in the game. Boom! He jams it straight down. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. You know what, guys, honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. Here's Armstrong, following the score by the Lakers. Pass to Butler. The shot from 20 feet out. Rebound, the Lakers. <laughs> Coaches loathe empty possessions. You got to be able to hit the easy I just be trying to hit the threes. Here's James. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's on Zach Levine. So physically powerful. A tough task to defend LeBron inside. Los Angeles, LeBron James taking two shots. That free throw good from James. You think about LeBron's career, no matter where he's gone, he has impacted winning at the highest level. Remarkable. And so he hits both. There's 14 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Kukoc. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Here's Noah. Oh, and the buzzer beater is good! Great job ending the quarter on a high note. Nothing like knocking down that last possession of a quarter to give you a little feel-good momentum. And so it's Chicago, firmly in control with an impressive 28-point lead as the quarter ends. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. Back after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fella with the sweetest pass of the day. Boy, that's a nice asset to have. It's a huge boost to any offense, too. It adds a whole nother dimension when you've got a big guy that can pass. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. Now here's Johnson. Davis down low, covered by Love. Pass to Goodrich. Four on the clock, out to the right wing. Here's Johnson. Rebound by the Bulls. On the court for the Bulls. Here's Armstrong. Beyond the arc. Pure from three-point range. Hey, you've got to defend BJ out there now. 
he will not hesitate to let that three-pointer fly. And the Lakers have possession. Down low. Nice pass. Nice catch. And a resounding dunk. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Here's Armstrong. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Pass to Kukoc. Right side, Love. The three ball. They get it back to the left side wing. Here's Armstrong. Buries it from three. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Count that one. At his position, the point guard, there are not many players that possess the size that Magic Johnson has. And he knows how to use it on the interior. Here's Armstrong. Pass to Noah. Up and in on the layup. Well, the analytics would say take either that shot or something from downtown. And here's Johnson. Now here's Davis. Here's Chamberlain. Just five on the clock. Launches it. Goodrich can't hit. Here's Armstrong. Checked by Davis. Pass to Kukoc. Here's the three. Cut X from downtown. This has been their game plan here in the final period. We'll see if it continues to work out. You know what? Teams can get a little three happy down the stretch sometimes. Letting it fly. Here's Worthy. Davis with it. Covered by Love. From the right block. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. And here are the Bulls now. Pass to Theus. Fourth quarter keeps moving along. I ain't want to do that. I did not want to do that. I was trying something out. He has that type of range, but I don't think his coaches will agree. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes guys have the green light to take that shot, but I don't think he's one of them. Now here's Davis. Another shot from deep. Johnson. The Lakers with another miss. Johnson's gone two for six from the floor so far. Pass to Love. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Shots good by Kukoc. They're really confident in Kukoc out of that corner spot. And why not? I mean, it's just another thing that he does really well. They haven't looked like themselves the last few possessions. They haven't. This is when they really need to be patient and get a clean look. Now here's Johnson. Left side, Davis. The rebound by Kukoc. And here are the Bulls now. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Over to the left wing, Theus. That three's off the mark. And it's the Lakers' ball. Here's Worthy. Love grabs the miss. Love's got four rebounds now. Here's Kukoc. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for Chicago? Well, you know, throughout this game, they've shot the ball extremely well from downtown. Their shooters are getting open and letting it fly. Yeah, all game long, they've been also playing well inside in the paint. Lots of points are coming their way thanks to them attacking the interior. You know, Tony Kukoc can do it all in a way few guys can. I mean, this guy's 6'10". He's got good ball skills. He can score. He rebounds it. He's an excellent passer. Um, you just don't see this diverse of skill set that often, especially in a 6'10 guy. Doing all he can so far, but they still find themselves trailing. So it's Chicago now. Pass to Jordan. 
A minute 22 left in the final quarter. That's miss number five on the night. Six for 11 now. Takes a three. Goodrich can't hit. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Now here's Jordan. Oh, that bucket gives him his seventh field goal in 12 tries. Yeah, Jordan's so crafty in the pick and roll. He's unpredictable and hard to stop in these situations. 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Here's Goodrich. Pass to Chamberlain. Releases from 15. Fires the three. Sends it home from three-point land. He's got a sweet stroke from long range. Plenty of bigs do now. Here's Rose. Outside love. Out to the right wing. From deep, Jordan. Nice shot there. Making him 8 for 13. And guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? Diminished. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. To the inside. And there's the drive. Chamberlain gets the bucket. Boy, it's no secret that LeBron James is an outstanding passer. Boy, I love his vision in the pick and roll. Pass to Jordan. There's a screen by Love. Jordan goes in. And slam dunk by Jordan. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. So no problem for Chicago as they get the win. A statement road victory. So impressive. Statement indeed, B.A. It was in enemy territory, but they controlled the game and took the crowd completely out of it. That's how you win on the road. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Ali LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Now our New Balance Player of the Game. I'm with